everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pam and Rev Simple Cooking. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Yes, we're back, but not that often, but we're still here. Um, we'll try our best to push out some videos, you know, when, when I can, because this old lady's drained. Um, so today we decided to make some um, cook-up and some bile and fry chana. I went ahead and I washed the chana, so I'm just going to add some salt to this. Spoon and a half. And I tried to get a few things to avoid them going away. Okay, I will put that on the stove in a minute. I have some black eye cooking for the um, cook up. I forgot to soak it. So here I have um, some fresh chicken with some chicken breasts. So I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt. Just gonna pre-season for a few minutes. Some black pepper. And some complete seasoning. and a bit of green, green seasoning. So I'm gonna cook this a bit different. I'm not gonna put anything else because the green seasoning has garlic and lots of pepper and bandana and all of that stuff. Give it a nice mix. Okay, so we will let that marinate. And I went ahead and cut up the stuff to fry up the china, onions, scallion, garlic, and hot peppers. And in this bowl, I have celery, some thick leaf thyme, scallion, a lot of garlic, and one large onions with four wiri peppers. I'm gonna blend this up. And in the meantime, by the time my black eye piece is finished, We'll put everything together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that up. Okay, guys, I'm gonna cook today's um, cook up with some coconut oil. So we... Oh, to my chicken, I added some um, Kashmiri chili with paprika as well and some sazan. And then let this fry up. And Rav went ahead and he blended up everything for me. So we will let this cook for about 10 minutes or so and then I'll add all the green blend up seasoning. Okay guys, I added some um, fresh thyme inside. So I'm going to add all the green blend up seasoning. that up in a minute. Can't let all that go to waste. Okay, so we will let this fry up. I'm going to rinse this in and throw it in. Peas is done. Okay, so we will let all of that get happy, happy. My pressure pot with the channel is starting to keep some noise. 
so I will let that cook and then I'll add the rice with the black eyed peas. Then all the excess water is almost done. So I went ahead and I washed my rice. This is white rice. I'm just going to add some black eyed peas and I always do this, always make a lot. Add whatever beans you know um, you like. I'm just I'm gonna let this um, cook for a few minutes, and then I'll taste the salt. And if it needs, I will add some. Okay, so another few minutes. Then I'll add the coconut milk as well. Okay. I am going to add my coconut milk now. Just gonna add some of the coconut milk and add a little bit of water. Let this come to a boil and then I'll turn the stove down and let it cook. So this is white rice, it's not gonna take too long. Okay. Okay guys, I'm checking back on the cooker. It's cooking very low. And it's looking good. I taste the salt and it's perfect. So yeah. I'm gonna check back on it in a few minutes, making some food for eight. And the china is still going. The thing is, I soaked the china this morning, so, you know, it's going to take a while. So I'm going to come back and check on everything in a few more minutes. Okay, guys, my china is all done. I added a pinch of salt and some parsley and some complete seasoning. And I also added some toasted cumin, jeera or turmeric and some more garlic powder. This is how the young man likes it. Just a little bit of water. And I put, he wants it spicy, so I put three very, very pepper. He loves all this stuff after class. He started college again. Two more years for the bachelor. So I try to make him, you know, his favorite things after class. You know, he has something to eat. He makes his own things too. Okay, so I'm gonna let this fry for a few minutes and then I'll add the channel. Cook is still coming mm. along. We have a bit more to go. The rice is almost cooked. Okay. okay. I'll add the channel in a few minutes. This is ready. This will last them a week. 
that one. So in the freezer, so I'm gonna be, be ready to eat. I warm some up. I'm happy with this. It's nice and tender. Okay, so the chana is all done. I'm just going to turn the stove off and just grab a spoon and just, just taste this really quick. Mm, excellent. Does not need anything. is perfect and the salt okay and the cook up have a few more minutes okay everyone our cook up is all done rest of everything tastes perfect and he's hungry so i'm gonna go give him some food and turn the stove off okay everyone my chicken cook up is finished served with cucumbers and cherry tomatoes um rev and i would like to say thank you so much um please like and subscribe to our channel it's greatly appreciated. Have a blessed week ahead and we will try to see if, you know, we can push a few more videos when we can. Um, have a great week and we will see you again. Take care, everyone.